Um, could you talk about the appeal of this role for you? I play the Duchess of Marlborough in The Favourite, who is running England for the Queen, which Olivia Colman plays. And it was just wonderful to get to play opposite Olivia and Emma Stone and play women who are vying for power, who are complicated, textured. They're my characters, assertive, um, dominating, can be aggressive, can be sadistic, can be cruel, but she's also vulnerable and needy and it's a love story. She's in love with the Queen. I don't want to give any spoilers, but it, it's, it's not playing a character, it's just one thing. It's playing a character, there's many, many, many things. It's also unusual for you to be opposite two strong women. I think many of your roles have been opposite men. So does that change anything for you as an actress? I think every film that I had ever done before last year has been opposite a man. I think almost everything has been a love story and they've been heterosexual love stories. So I made a film called Disobedience and then The Favourite and they're both opposite women. and. Uh, I should say it's no different because we're just people, we're just human beings, but there was a sense of freedom and a sense of um, exuberance and joy. There's something joyful. I love, I love women um, uh, and I love their company and so to get to tell a story in relation to other women was just, it was so refreshing, really refreshing. The costumes are very particular and specifically for your character. Uh, we get to see her riding a horse nut side saddle for the time, what's unusual. How did costume influence your character? Well, the, 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 I wear some big dresses like the rest of the ladies, but then I also get to wear a, a, a kind of man style hunting costume. And, as you mentioned, I get to sit astride a horse, which is quite radical for the time. And um, yeah, I, I, I feel like the, the sort of more masculine clothes made me feel stronger and more powerful and less, although I did wear a corset underneath them, there was still a corset there. So yeah, but there was, it was the costumes are fabulous, really wonderful. There's that incredible scene of you uh, shooting so how comfortable were you with shooting? And it's actually an analogy for something else that's going on in the film. So talk about those scenes. Yeah, so there's kind of three, almost like three one act See, it's like a three act play. The first act, myself and Emma Stone, I teach her to shoot. Seems like she's the ingenue and I could explain to her how to do it and she seems not to be very good at it. Act two, she's gotten very good at shooting and um, I'm very suspicious of her and I suddenly think she might be trying to steal the queen from me and then and I threaten her and then act three she's a better shot than me yeah life lessons right there to close up you've worked with this director before what was it that brought you back Listen, I, I mean, I saw um, Dogtooth, his, his film that he made um, in Greece, and I thought it was one of the, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not a commercial film, it's not for everybody, but I, I thought it was one of the most astonishing dramas about the human condition that I'd ever seen. It's dark and difficult and, and strange. And when I saw that, as I mentioned in the conference, I went, I sought him out, I wanted to meet him. Um, so I would, I would work with him on anything, wh whether or not I, um, uh, identified with the character or loved, loved the world of the script. I would work with him for the sake of working with him as a director because he's extraordinary.